Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be dividing a one, two, three, four, five digit number by a one digit number. Let me tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be dividing a one, two, three, four, five digit number by a one digit number. All right, before we get started, remember this is the dividend. This is called the divisor, and you're gonna be putting your answer right here, your quotient, up in this area. And basically, what division is, is you have a number right here, and you have to divide it into six equal groups. All right, let's get started. Remember, there are steps when you are dividing. Our first step is to divide. The next step is to multiply. Next step, subtract. Next step, bring it down. And then our next step is to repeat. And I'll tell you all about it. Don't worry, let's take this baby steps, little by little, easy cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, first of all, can I put six into four? No, you cannot. Can I put six into 45? I think you can. So let's just start throwing out a couple of multiplication facts here. Let me see here, six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Six times six, 36. Six times seven, 42, we're getting close. Six times eight is 48, whoa, too high. Bring it down, bring it down. Let's just stick with six times seven. All right, put the seven right here. Please make sure you line up your numbers, okay? Very important. Now I multiply, that's our next step. Seven times six is 42. Put the two right there. Now you put a line under here, and our next step is subtraction. Okay, now we subtract five minus two is three. Uno, dos, tres, yeah. Put the three here. Four minus four, zero. Whoa, don't put that zero there, okay? You don't say 45 minus 42 equals zero three. No, you don't need to put a zero there. Just leave it blank. Now what do we do? We drop it down. We drop the number down, put that here, three. You can add your sound effects, that makes math kind of cool. All right, now, first of all, we gotta go back to step one. How many times can I put six into 33? Six times four is 24, six times five is 30. All right, see where I have multiplication facts come in handy? Gotta know them. So six times five, you put the five right here, you multiply, five times six equals 30. Now you do subtraction, all right? Same thing, three minus zero, three. Oh, you guys are awesome. Bring down the next number, is you can't put six into three, so bring it down. <laughs> bring that seven right down there. Now, can we put six into 37? Sure you can. All right, how many times? Six times six is 36. Ooh, all right, six times seven, 42. No, six times six. All right, stick with six times six. So I put the six up here. Six times six is 36. All right, put the line here, subtraction line, seven minus six, what is it? One, uno. All right, can't put six into one. All right, I always like to check. Now, I bring it down. I bring this four down, bring it down. And bring it down, bring the four down. We're gonna bring the four down all the way down here. Yeah. All right, I'm working on the song there. Okay. Now I can do it. How many times can I put six into 14? Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. No, six times two is 12. So put the two here. Two times six is 12. Put the 12 here. Minus sign there. Four minus two, uno, dos. All right. This is our remainder because nothing is coming down after that. This is our remainder. So we put an R here for remainder two. This is a gigantic problem. <sighs> Take a deep breath. We did it. We subtracted a five digit number by a one digit number. Our answer is 7,562 with a remainder of two. You ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. Boom. Okay, we got our next number here. We got 39,065 divided by four. Ready to do it? Yeah, I know you can do it. 
All right. First of all, can I put four into three? Cannot. Can I put four into 39? Yeah. How many times? Four times nine is 36. Four times 10. No, don't do four times 10. That's too big. Let's just do four times nine. All right. Four times nine. All right. Nine times four, that's our next step. Nine times four is 36. Subtract. Nine minus six, one, two, three. All right, you guys are doing awesome. Bring that number down, bring that number down. Do, 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 do. Zero, can I put four into 30? Yes, you can. Let me see here, four times seven is 28. Four times... Let's stick with that one. I think that's a good one. Four times seven. Whew. All right, don't want to go over. Seven times four. All right, 28. 28, don't be late. Subtract it. Oh, I got to do regrouping. Yes, you got to do regrouping. Don't worry about it. We can do it. So I got to make that number bigger. Take one from the three. Remember how you did that? And make this a 10. All right, 10 minus eight, two, right? <laughs> You're like, oh my goodness, there's so many different things in this problem to do. You're becoming math ninja pros, all right? Don't worry about it. Can I put four into two? No, drop it down, drop it down, drop the six down, drop the six down, right here. All right, how many times can I put four into 26? What is it? Four times five, 20. Four times six, 24. Let's just stay right there. All right, four times seven. No, 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 too high, too high. All right, four times six. So let's put the six right here. Six times four is 24. Put the four there, subtract it. We have two. Can I put four into two? No. Drop it down. Drop the number down. Five goes all the way down here. Right here, yeah. All right. Getting toward the end, how many times can I put four into 25? I think we did something similar. Let's try six times four again. Six times four is 24. Six times four, 24. Subtract it. We have a one left over. Nothing to drop down, nothing to repeat. That is our remainder. Remainder one. 9,766 remainder one. Hey, you guys did it. You sub, you divide, not subtracted, divided a five digit number. You are math ninja pros. Hey, check out my other math videos on here. Make sure you subscribe, hit that subscription button wherever it is, my, uh, anywhere it is. Tell your teacher, please subscribe, put me on your favorite list. And like always, have a fun day. Adios, bye-bye.